up guys welcome back to the channel and in this video we will be working finally on the Dotson ls project we're going to continue working on this getting some progress in even if it's a little bit slowly but surely it's going to get done I'm mostly going to focus on installing that harmonic balancer correctly or completely the starter and maybe the alternator but we still have to figure that out so let's go ahead and get this started First of all, I'm gonna go ahead and install this flywheel holder here. So I can go ahead and tighten up the harmonic balancer. It's just literally, this takes the place of the starter right here for the meantime. Well, I'll install the harmonic balancer, holds it in place. If you don't have this, have another person handy, just have them jam a, like a pry bar or something so you can hold the flywheel. We install the harmonic balancer. How? Little max power agadugas right here. Now that we have the harmonic balancer installed, we're gonna go ahead and install the starter. This is a remanufactured one since the, the old one stopped working. It's just been sitting out. All it really needs is just these two bolts. So you have these two bolts, you're good. So let's go ahead and install it. And just like that, the starter right there is installed. On to the next piece of business right here. I'm trying to figure out how to set up the alternator. And I have two different ideas, but well, let me just show you. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this uh, F-body alternator mount here. What I've seen, or how I've seen people use it, is first of all, mostly people use them as a low mount, which is basically gonna be held up by this bottom hole and this top hole. So the middle hole isn't gonna be used. For that, I have to, I'm not sure if you can guys see that. This little tab right there. My finger's pointing, it's pointing out. That tab, I have to drill it and tap it. So that way, so I'll be using this hole right here and the tab that's one way and it, it looks like a pretty good setup to be honest i'm not gonna lie it did come across a forum post but i can't find it anymore for some reason again using the f body alternator mount i've seen some people use it as a top mount setup and that's kind of what i want to try to do but i'm not really sure how that's going to pan out but let me go ahead and kind of test fit right there so you guys can see what i'm talking about okay and that's the top mount right here again it's only using two bolts but i do know like this one isn't being used but I have to kind of use this one since this is where the alternator is mounted up on. And I've seen that some people just use like a steel, I guess like a little bracket they make to, so it can extend from back here. And I'm kind of tempted to do that to be honest because I have not seen anyone, well at least locally, do this mount. But the only thing that kind of sucks is the location of this pulley right here. It's pretty high up and I'm not really digging it to be honest. I mean it does lighten up perfectly as you can see, like right there perfect but i just don't like the pulley sticking out so far up which means most likely the hood won't close now that i'm really thinking about it i kind of suck because i really was hoping for a top mount but if anything it's all right we still have the low mount we got this thing set up here i bolted down this one down here so you can stay in place and this is the the drill bit right here it's a uh, 11 30 seconds let's see where it says i'm not sure if it says there yeah there somewhere anyway it's 11 30 seconds so what he did to mark it is basically just run through here and then just smack it with a hammer since this bit is a little pointy here there you go since the bit does have like a little pointy end right there that marked it now after that i'm just gonna uh wet a little bit with a wd-40 go ahead and drill it there's that drill right there so i'm gonna go ahead and drill it and come back all right so as you can see that's the hole right there. It's about that deep right here. As deep as this. This is like about an inch or two. Nothing too crazy. I started with quarter inch, stepped it up little by little until it reached to um, 11 30 seconds. It's not too bad. And all I have to do is tap it. I'm tapping it right now. And it is a M10 by 1.5. No big deal. Pretty simple stuff. The bracket's now in. It's now in. Perfect lineup to the build right here. This is alternator here. We'll brush up ready to go. Now let's just go ahead and install it. There you guys have it. Now we have a, an alternator in place with the pulley perfectly lined up for the alternator belt right there. Looking good. Sweet. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content and this, these types of videos. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Peace.